days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Who was talking about was our brother Ben is on the on the on, on, on Facebook listening to us. Uh, okay. He got, he got a video, but y'all can't see it because the camera can't. Yeah. I have to turn the phone around for y'all to see him, and then he can't see nobody else after that. But but the point is though is that we we really need to. We was telling my brother Ben was Chinatown. You know, Chinatown is in like San Francisco and probably in New York and some other places. But it's 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 not China. It's just the, the traditions and, and all the other flavor they have in China put into a city. We're trying to say is that as a Christian, we need to be able to put the image of Christ in us so the world can see who what Christianity is. What it look like by laws, not by not by legalism, but just by the characteristics, the attributes of what a Christian is supposed to be. I'm talking about love, moved by love. And as I think you'll be successful going to the hospital <coughs> for the love of the people in the hospital and you move by compassion through the Holy Spirit where you're going to lay hands on somebody. You lay hands on because of the compassion. You know, Brother Addison, you lay hands on the sick because of the compassion moved by compassion we talked about last week right is middle bishop was saying go to go to you've been called to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover but then you quickly said is he had not specifically told me to go to to the, you know the hospital and go heal everybody in the COVID 19 ward right yeah, yeah. but if he took what you said though and that's very very important for anybody if he told me to do it, I go. Did I go? Not only I go, oh. not only I go. What would happen, right? It would yeah. happen because he sent you there. Yeah. You see my point? I go with an expectation of whatever he said, and and with no doubt in my mind. Exactly. Because see, if you hear from God and you know within your knower, right, that that's what God told you to do, but you know. I also look at the fact that the centurion came and asked for Jesus to heal his servant and Jesus did not go to the centurion's home. And the man said, speak the word only though. And he spoke the word. So you do not have to actually go nope. into the hospital. Right. If God gives you a word to 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 do something, but I do think that somebody's got to give that person the word. Somebody's got to speak life to that individual. I, I would I'll submit you that also somebody should be moved with compassion, and I yeah, would yeah. say that that centurion was moved by compassion, love. Yeah. Yes. That's right. That's okay. the whole point. It's the cross of all that we do. If we yeah. don't have that, we're really not operating in the kingdom. And, I, and that's what people see when you're phony. That's what people see when you're phony. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your stripes will show. Come on, brother. Come <laughs> look, on. You, look, or, or should I say, your flesh your will flesh, show. <laughs> your flesh will show. And people are like, I ain't got time to fool with you. Because you <laughs> might have polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's wow, man. It's, Wow, y'all, I thank God for who we're coming from. I ain't gonna tell about, man. I just thank God for this. It's eight, six to eight of us most of the time. Can you imagine these many men move toward Christ and the impact that we can have in the kingdom yes, as, we, as we take this journey? Exactly. I think I think as we and we get the the whole purpose of the day is understand is that we we talk about conforming to the image of Christ, brother man. Mm. And, and the fact is that if you conform to His image, what does that look like? Well, it looked like somebody who moved by love. It looked like somebody who operates under grace. It's operating somebody who cares about somebody instead of themselves. It's, a, it's not being selfish, but being selfless yeah. for other people. That's, that's the image. 
That what moves people. That's what minister to people, not the Bible stuff. Yeah, well, I, I just got this image in my mind Go ahead. that we are to put this world in a position to hear Jesus say, Lazarus. Come for it. Come, oh, come on, brother. Come on. Come on. Man, come on. Y all, y all, y all. <laughs> Don't, don't stand there, I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, y'all gonna make me go coach you over here in a minute. I'm <laughs> he said coach you. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, Addison, with, with that image. He's stopping over here, man. <laughs> with, with that image. Bless the miracle, man. He didn't Ooh. show up. Ooh. He said it was good that I was Ooh, not man. to be there at mm. first. Yeah. Because that boy would have never got, would have never died. No. Because he would have moved with compassion to heal that person during his suffering. But he still was moved with compassion to call him from the dead so that others may understand the power of God. Remember when he did that prayer? He said, Father, I know you yeah. always heard you me. You always hear me. Come I know on, you brother. heard me. You heard me. And that you always hear me. Come on, brother. Come on. I'll never forget that. Yeah. That's right. Heard heard the play. That's right. <laughs> you heard me. Yeah. <laughs> I want I'm doing this so that they can hear <laughs> what you heard. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's enough to chew on as far as what we talked about today. <laughs> so so uh Man, you know Ellen, when you, you finish your you prayers out. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, there's some good stuff happening, man, I'm telling you. Come on. I praise God for it. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for having patience with us. That's how I really thank you for that. Yes, Lord. Because you know we're striving toward this, this understanding of this thing, and it ain't natural for us. We, in the fallen flesh, we can't comprehend it. No. But only by your spirit can you impart understanding to us. Come on. To our spirit, Lord God, and, and transform us by the renewing of our mind. Yes. That we might prove what is that good and perfect and acceptable will of God. <laughs> That's Lord it. Lord Jesus, man. I mean, Woo. this is a lot. Woo. And we thank you, Father God, for just, I don't know how to say it. Man, thank you. I mean, because you didn't have to, I don't know why you did what you, I don't know why you're doing what you're doing, but I know you're doing it. You're doing it. You're yeah. changing us, man. You, you're changing us. You, 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 you're moving us from glory to glory. You, causes us to have understanding of, of, of things that we may not even have contemplated before, things that realms that we've not even been introduced to and in the church proper and in the, in, 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 in the organized religion and in the culture, Lord God, a culture that is totally disestablished aside from and counter to your will and your purpose as yeah. far as the propagation of the gospel is concerned. This thing was jacked up <laughs> and we have been in error for so long, but you have been patient with us. Yes. You have allowed us to commit tremendous errors. Woo! Hurtful events have taken place in our own personal lives and then, Lord Jesus, we've done some stuff. Mm. We've done some stuff, Lord. Mm. We've said some things. we followed some, some some deception and some lies and some, some ignorance. Yes. And Paul said we did it in our ignorance. Mm. Yeah, we mm. made it, we, we committed tremendous heresies and tragedies because of our ignorance, not because we were trying to do the wrong thing, but even in our efforts to do the right thing, because we weren't walking after your spirit and hadn't been taught. We did the wrong thing. <laughs> we, we saw something from the perspective for the wrong reason. Lord God, thank you for having given us a, a sense of value for every human soul. Pray for us, God, in Jesus' name, as we go forth from this place, that you give us your love for your creation. Yes. Pour out your Holy Ghost in us, Lord God, that we might not speak in tongues or raise the dead or open blinded eyes, but that we just might simply love somebody. Mm. Woo. And love them because the reason that our minds and our cardinal flesh can take us, man. We we don't we we can't do this in us. No. It's got to be your spirit working in and through us to accomplish this, Lord God. We got to show forth love that they don't even want to see. Come and on, when they see on. it, they're going to come against us. They're going to rail against us, Lord God. They're going to destroy us 
because they, they, they think we wrong. Shit, they would kill you thinking that they're doing God a favor. <laughs> Lord God, but give us an understanding and a compassion for them that even in their ignorance, we don't want to rail against them. We still praying for them. Father, forgive them, but they know not what they do. Come on now. Lord God, help these seeds fall into the ground, Lord God. Help yeah. these seeds die. That those that are in the in our vicinity might have life in part and to help us, Lord God, to, to see the usages of this world as nothing. Wow. To be willing to sacrifice all that we have for the salvation of one single soul. Mm. The saving of one immortal soul, all that we have that is cardinal, all that we have is already slated for destruction, Lord God, all that we possess or we think we possess. Yes. Lord God, let us be willing, help us to be willing to sacrifice it all to save one soul. One soul. One soul, Lord God. Pass it for what? Help us to understand that you've given us all we need and you give us all that we will need in order to do it again. If we sacrifice everything that we have, we are assured that you will give it back. You said if we give our lives for your sake, yeah, that you will yeah. give them back to us. Give us that compassion and that love, Lord God, for your creation to go forth the witness to the clan. And even this day, Lord God, I ask for forgiveness. And I pray for forgiveness for Mr. Donald Trump. I pray, Father God, that you somehow or another touch his heart and bring him into a full knowledge of who you are. Come on now. Convert him even in this hour, Lord God. Touch his heart. This man has been put on stage for a purpose. Yes. Convert him now. And I ask you to convert him in this hour, Lord God. You do more for this nation than you've done. Woo. You just convert his soul. Show his people, his constituents, his followers, Lord God, mm. your love. Affect their lives by what you do in the lives of this man. I ask you to do this. Wow. Cause him to be brought into repentance, Lord God, and save his immortal soul. He's not a small. Dot. In man's history, he is a very large image. And I'm asking you to affect our lives, Lord God, our eternal salvation. Move on this man. Move on. <laughs> move on me, Lord God. Hallelujah. Keep me in alignment yeah. with your will. Yes. You just called me to be compassion. Give me the compassion that you have for your creation. Yes. Uh, that's, uh, that's all I'm asking for myself today, Lord God. Give me the compassion and the love that you have for your creation. And I know I minister better than I've done in the past. Woo! Just do that for me, Lord God. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. Not that I might speak in tongues or raise the dead or get it, give sight, but that I might just simply love your creation Woo! the way you love your creation and see them the way that you see them. I ask you for this gift for me on this third day of, of 2021. Woo! Today, Lord God, I'm asking you to pour out your Holy Ghost on me. Woo! Oh, me this day, Lord God. Wow. And all these brothers that gathered around, Lord God, I pray that you answer their prayers in a, in a similar way. Woo. For me Woo. this day, Lord God, in my selfishness today, wow. I want to be filled with your spirit, Lord God. Go out and do your work that my life might not be a waste in the earth. Wow. I pray, Father God, that you call these lives to be fulfilling. And I pray, Father God, that all that we do with your son be to the presence of your kingdom, to your glory, into the furthest of your kingdom. Yeah. And this I pray in the name of my Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Amen. Hey, hey.